This is 90.3 KEXP Seattle. I'm John Richards, host of The Morning Show. Danny Newcomb here and the Sugar Makers live on KEXP. Take it away. KEXP, Danny Newcomb and the Sugar Makers live here. Perfect day for you guys to be here on this Friday. Thanks for bringing it. Well, thank you for having us. We love the new record all the way, and uh, I assume you have another one from it next. We do. Okay. This next song is called Steal Me.
halfway to her mouth She's laughing quietly You know we're all just a nest of snakes No matter the occasion But there are moments that flash like lightning Do you know what I KEXP, Danny Newcomb and the Sugar Makers, live here on The Morning Show. Danny, your, your voice to me sounds like Seattle. It does. Well, thank you, John. It does. You're one, of the, you're one of the good ones here in town, and uh, it's great to have you here in the studios. And, and you of Vashon Island. Now. Out of Seattle. <laughs> um, so I've, I'm out in West Seattle now. And, uh, so you look at me in the morning. Right, every morning I see you. And it seems <laughs> the music, uh, people in the music community here slowly, if they're not already in West Seattle, move there. And then the next eventual jump is to Vashon Island. Where, where musicians go, is, and then I don't know what. Then what happens? Next. I don't know. That's what you're going to die. I don't know what happens. I'm scared for you. No. So that's. that's I believe in reincarnation. What, what is? What is it? Why? I think. I know. I have my thoughts, but what are well, yours? Well, my thoughts are that actually songwriting is a meditative process, and yes. so to do that, you have to have nice things to look at, and you have to have like a chill spot. Mm -hmm. And I think it, especially with Seattle as busy as it is now, if you have the option of being in a calmer place it's a nice place to be that's more creative that's one of the reasons for us yeah. was to move to a quieter right, place right and you did we did i'm very happy we did it's going a little crazy so it's and we went out to vashon island uh this weekend you and did. I, I told a story of the air i was the first car like on the one of the lines on the ferry and I go and we're pulling in and it'd been a while since i've been there and i go to start my car back up dead <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh my god i'm that guy well i've only done that like five times okay good man yeah. i have to say they were ready they yeah, yeah they got the little, the little brick they hauled yeah. with the wires yes. on it. Yes, and I complimented them. The head of the ferry system wrote me this morning and just said he appreciated the shout-out to the nice people working the ferry. That's a tough job, man. That's a, that's a well, especially when you get your foot job. run over. Yeah, yeah exactly. Really... So did you take it over this morning? What, the ferry? Yeah, were you? Well, I took the helicopter today. Oh, good. Normally, normally I take the ferry. <laughs> I had to catch a 545 boat, which is like... That's what I was wondering. Yeah, I was hoping I would catch a fish. I'm like, oh, I'm up this early. I must be going fishing. That must be what it is. <laughs> so you guys are uh, playing tonight, too, in West Seattle. We are. Of. We're super excited. There's going to be some good friends joining us, and we're going to be um, uh, playing a bunch of songs off the new record, which has been... Really great to get out. Oh, good. So it's going to be out at Easy Street Records, West Seattle, 7 o'clock. I can't think of a That's better right. way to spend a Friday evening in West Seattle and seeing you guys. We will try to wander over there this evening. We have our mural show here as well. Right, so right, a right. lot of options tonight. But if you're in West Seattle, you guys will be playing there? Well, and the Husky Deli has ice cream right down the street. That is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, can you tell me a little bit about putting out the record? There's a, uh, a young upstart by the name of Mike McCready who, uh, <laughs> who has a label. And uh, I'm sure he's a stern taskmaster. And uh, hey, Right. He is a stern taskmaster. Label head. He, we're, doing, we're doing a single with him next month that's coming out. This yeah. label is on my label. Right. And um, 
but one of the songs from this will be on be on the single. Uh, this has been it's taken about a year and a half. Yeah. I, I went in and did most of the tracking with uh, John and Rick and Eric. Yeah. So all the songs were be- sort of bedded in this live feel and kind of, I mean, for me that's kind of the rock and roll thing, you know, live live feel. Um, and then spent the next year and a half like finishing lyrics and recording a lot of it in my attic of all places. Because John, John was doing a wolf parade. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, you got to come over. You got to help me out. He's like, you can figure it out. You're good. You can figure out. You want to put the mic like one inch away from the grill. That's what the Beatles did. It'll be good. And I'm like, okay. That's what the Beatles did. I like them. <laughs> so it, it, <laughs> the end result was I was Do you get like, producer credits for giving you suggestions to be right outside the... <laughs> I know you have to ask John. <laughs> Probably. But then I, I ended up taking the whole shebang into Martin when I got to mixing, and he's like, wow, you got a lot of tracks, you know, because I've been locked in a room for so long. Right. Um, but he went through and helped me comp stuff, and, and I recut some more vocals, and then everything got done, and Martin did an amazing job on the record. Kudos to him. It's the first time I've worked with him. So. Martin Fevian? Mm-hmm. Who's Martin out Fevian. in Vashon Island? At the studio He's three there? minutes away from me. Is he? Yeah. That's a smart... We were talking about that when we were out there, that uh, I like Martin a lot, and, and what a great place to have a studio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he had a three-car garage he converted. And yeah? Yeah, it's very nice. Well, we're doing a lot for the tourist board out at uh, uh, Vashon Island. Today. <laughs> so if you, get a, if you visit, if you're outside of Seattle, you should visit. It's a, a great place to be. Right, you, uh, uh, right in Pete Droge from there. What's that? Pete Droge for mayor. Pete Droge is out there. You're yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I like that guy. And there was a big festival this last weekend, yeah, too. I played that. <sighs> it was great. Chautauqua. Yeah, that was cool. And it was funny because I was coming out and like, they should do festivals out here. And there's just a giant poster where we went to eat and it was happening as we were out there. <laughs> Lucky us. Um, so you have the show tonight, West Seattle. I see a Triple Door show as well coming up. We want to plug. Right. We're playing with Kim Byron at the Triple Door on the 26th. And she's releasing a single. And that'll be a lot of fun. Oh, good. Um, and then we're going to start playing our town a bunch in September. So, um, but we'll be back in town when we have the hockey talker single, which will be probably end of September or October. So that's when you're, you're putting that out with Mike. Yeah. He's putting out some good stuff. Yeah. He has been. And he, he just loves it. You know, Yeah, it gives him so much joy. Yeah. Yeah. I was at a easy street putting up, giving them some posters like a couple days ago. And they're like, yeah, man, Mike was in here last night. He bought a whole bunch of stuff. I'm like, (laughs) really? That's weird. (laughs) So I I think him being, you know, having a a label where he can um, have friends who make good quality music and other projects too. I mean, like his Mr. Potato Head book, which is my cow is in that book. Is it? Yeah, my cow is in that book. I was like, what is my cow doing at my First off, I didn't know you had a cow. Well, <laughs> and secondly, I didn't know he was in my I'm having a book. cow right now. <laughs> <laughs> so your cow, that you have a cow? Uh, yeah, a steer. Okay. Yeah, Bob. Yeah. He's okay. a real farmer. Yeah. yeah. Actually, don't so, call me that on the air. <laughs> I, 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 I thought you were joking about the sheep, but you actually do have sheep. I do, yeah. And, and I was building a house over the past couple of years and and we had coyotes come and they started eating the lambs. It was kind of a new thing. And that never happened before. But I was building the house. And my wife's like, you know, you got to put the sheep away at night. Otherwise, the coyotes are going to eat them. I'm like, yeah, okay, I got to do that. But there was only one pen. And so they made it like crazy. I don't know what was the matter with them. And I had like 30 sheep this spring. And then my wife, like, that was the last straw. So you hosted a, like a sheep orgy is what you're saying out on Vashon Island, Danny Newcomb. That's what it said on Craigslist. Okay. Well, there we go. And with that, we're ready for more music. Yes, sheep orgy. I was able to say it today. I get a... I get Let a, me do a quick tune. Maybe we should introduce the dollar. band here. Hey, feel free if you're tuning. Okay. Uh, go clockwise, by the way, for our, our skilled video team who try to keep up here. Okay, clockwise. Which way yeah. is that this yeah, early in the morning? Me. All right. We have Faith Stankovic on backup vocals and percussion. Is that, yeah, no, that's clockwise. Am I going counter? Skylar Mihal on guitar. And we have Mr. Ryan Burns over there, who always, who always is our ace in the hole. Yes. Rick Friel on lead bass. Eric Eagle on the drums. We like to have a Friel in here at least, always. you know, once a month. And so a sheep, and a sheep board. <laughs> and a sheep board. All right, now you're ready, Danny. Danny Newcomb, yeah, the Sugar so Makers, this, this live here on The Morning Show. Fall through.
I like that one. Very good. Nice work, guys. Danny Newcomb and the Sugar Makers live here on the morning show, playing later tonight, 7 o'clock at Easy Street Records. The new album is All the Way. You have one more. For one us. more. Unless you're tuning in and I need to talk <laughs> bam, some more. Bam. The last thing I want to hear is my voice for any more this morning. <laughs> Kind of sick You've already of already done your quota. I've, d- I've done enough. Done quota. I've done enough, How Danny. much coffee have you had today? <laughs> D- yesterday was a problem. Like, <laughs> it, it really was. You know what? You're just a, you got the spins. You know you've drank too much, and you're like, there's no going back is, now. Is, is Skyler... It was the coffee is, of, is, of is, that. Is the Skyler effect now that he's at KXP? <sighs> Skyler used to work with me at Cafe Vita. Did he? So I wonder if he's making you drink more no, coffee No, the problem is, and I can see that as a future problem, uh, he, uh, the La Marzocco right over there. Yes. When you have it's a coffee, right it's right there. <laughs> it's a problem. Well, that's so. like I work next to Big Mario's and I love pizza, so I have to fight myself not eating pizza every day because it's my favorite thing A in little the world. too much. <laughs> yeah. How is the coffee biz going, by the way? It's booming. Yeah. Cold, cold, cold brew is out of control. Yeah, tell right, people where you're at. People can't get enough they can't get enough cold brew. What's your job? Where, do you, Rick? You Cafe Vita Coffee Roasting Company on Capitol Hill. Yes, still independent. Do you have after a title? Twenty years. Uh, I guess I'm sort of the brand ambassador. That's, that's what that's, that's what they kind of call me because I wear lots of Cafe Vita clothing. <laughs> but I love working there. But yeah, cold, cold brew. I mean, just probably for every. We're so lucky living here because there's so many great indie coffee companies here. Yeah, right. yeah, and so it only lucky. increases the bars and the coffee. Just yeah. you've never, <laughs> you never. Uh... Welcome to the coffee talk with Rick and John. That's right. I know, I'm waiting for some cream over here. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, is it, what bar are we supposed to be going to in Vashon Island? I trouble. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Is you there? You got to go to Home Sweet Home attached to Snapdragon. Okay. Yeah, Thank that's you. a dope Snapdragon's place. Snapdragon's cool. Yeah. yeah. We were struggling to find a bar. Yeah, that's the place. Okay. Or, or Maze, actually. Maze, Maze, uh, Vietnamese. Is, is that tie. the tie? That's yeah. where we went. Snapdragon's a cool That's the second best place. See, wait, f- wait a minute. I'm going to get in trouble with May. That's, they're all great. Everybody's great on Oh, that. come on, Danny. Uh, that's some of the best Thai food. It is super good. Yeah, that I've ever had. A Maze. Oh, oh yeah. The Maze, I think I went to? Yeah. yeah. They have one yeah. over here, too, right? Ah, so good. Anyway. She, she lives over there. Danny Newcomb and the Sugar Makers, we have coffee and food advice for you here on this Friday. <laughs> and advice to see them tonight at 7 o'clock in West Seattle. And I'm sure they'll have copies of the new record all the way. And they're going to play one more for us from said album. This song is called The End.
And if I wasn't the one that you wanted, honey Maybe you could have told me, yeah So I sing XP? I assume you're done. What? Is Wait, it? there's another verse. There it is, yeah. <laughs> you need one big drum ending there. <laughs> Where's the gong? Boom! There it is. Yeah, I knew you had it in you. Danny Newcomb and the Sugar Makers live here on The Morning Show. The new album is all the way. Thank you all very much. Thank you, John. It's a pleasure John. to be here. You're always welcome here at KEXP. And a reminder again tonight, West Seattle at uh, Easy Street Records at 7 and then uh, August 26th at the Triple Door. And again, the new one is called All The Way. A big thank you to all of you for being here. A big thank you to our team. And of course, most of all, thank you to our donors, our listeners, everybody who makes these sessions possible, who supports independent radio so we can continue to champion great music here every day. Kevin Suggs. And paying Kevin Suggs for his work Kevin Suggs. he's amazing we go back with Kevin Suggs I know I know you do we could tell Kevin Suggs stories but he's, <laughs> let's not go back there right I now. don't want to do that he has such a good That's reputation a whole different here. show it's a whole different show <laughs> we do thank him and all of his great work making all the bands sound so good and uh, have a great weekend everybody I'll be back bright and early on Monday morning this is KEXP Seattle and done Woo! and Yay! done and done Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.